Okay, welcome back to the channel. So today we're just going to be taking a very close look at some 64 mil burrs. So this is ahead of another video that we're going to be shooting in the not too distant future where we're going to line up, I think it's about 11 burr sets um, and we're going to test them on a group of people. Uh, they'll blind taste all the coffee and see and get some feedback from them and see if they can pick up a difference between the burr sets. So these are average punters, not necessarily uh, coffee enthusiasts. Um, well, they might be coffee enthusiasts, but they're not coffee experts by any means. Um, so today we're just gonna put under the microscope uh, some of the burrs that we're gonna test. So here we've got a digital microscope that has an 800 times zoom. Um, so the first burr set that we're gonna put under is a is the Firenzato 64 millimeter red speed. So this burst, th these burrs have been used, but they haven't been used a lot. So I think there's maybe only half a kilo of coffee has gone through this, this burr set. Um, and so the surprising thing with this burr set is, it doesn't matter, almost any edge that I look at, there's a whole lot of imperfections. Um, Let me just zoom in here. You know, there's just a whole lot of chips on the edges. Now, does that have an impact on the coffee that it produces? Potentially. Um, you know, we'll see how they perform at the test, you know, what, what sort of feedback we get on these burrs. But, um, the other thing that's quite surprising is look at the amount of coffee that just sticks to it. And I've tried to give these a clean um, to try and get as much of the coffee out as possible. Um, and this is as clean as I can get them without having to soak the, the burrs. And again, these have only had about half a kilo of coffee go through them. They were brand new burr set. Um, and all, you can take a look at all the edges. They've, they've all got some some level of imperfection on them. So it's really surprising because Firenzato have been around for a long time and I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Firenzato grinders. So I'm surprised that these are the burrs, the quality of the burrs that they put in the grinder. Um, and look, this might just be a, a, a bad one the, that I happen to purchase. I'm not, and it may have minimal impact on the flavor of the coffee. But when you take a close look at them, um, yeah, they don't, they don't look the best, that's for sure. Anyway, next up, we've got the uh, DF64V DLC burst, so the diamond light coating burst that you find on DF64V. Now, the one thing that you'll notice with these is how sharp the edges are. So they're very crisp that edge it does have a bit of a taper to the uh, to it excuse me so th this screen's probably going to time out a couple of times because my laptop isn't plugged in it's running low on battery but um, yeah it's a pretty clean burr set uh, the surface looks a lot smoother than the Firenzato, and if you take a look, the, the amount of coffee that's, these, these have been used, there's not a lot of coffee that's on the burrs themselves. So there'd be easily over 10 kilos of coffee that's gone through this burr set. So this is actually a burr set that has been used a fair bit. Um, Yeah, so quite interesting that all the edges seem quite sharp. Um, so it's, it looks nice under the microscope. All the lines look very well defined. The cutting edges seem to, and as I say that, here we go, find an imperfection. So you can see there, it looks a bit jagged. Anyway, so that's the DLC one. So next up, uh, we'll take a close look at the, uh, let's start with the 
Itamil 64mm titanium burr set. So this is found as standard in the DF64 here in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, so the interest, and these are brand new, so no coffee has been run through these burrs. So you can see this, it looks like almost like scorched marks uh, along the whole edge of that. It's really bizarre. Don't know what that is. Anyway, the edges all look fairly uh, nice and clean. And the commentator's curse, you got it looks like a chip on the edge there. Um, surface looks a bit rougher. Doesn't look as smooth as the DLC from the DF64V. Okay, I'll try and get through these as quickly as I can. Um, so next up we have the Itamil 64mm DLCs. Now these are different to the DF64V. These um, are an option on the DF64, but they're a different burr set than the DF64Vs, different manufacturer. So these are from Itamil. Um, Edges look okay, some slight imperfections on the edges. Um, all the cutting edges seem to be quite sharp, doesn't seem to have too much. There we go, got a little bit there. And again, this is, you've got to bear in mind, right, this is under 800 times zoom, so it's not going to be a hundred percent perfect. Let's see if I can zoom in on that edge a bit more. Sorry, not zoom in, focus. There we go. A couple of dents. Yeah, not as clean as the other DLC burrs, but a lot cleaner than the Furanzato burrs, um, especially on these cutting edges. Seems to be a lot, a lot cleaner. Um, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't, they don't look as smooth as the, the other DLC birds. So they, they do look a little bit rougher. Okay. Next up, I might leave the SSPs for last, I think. Um, so next up we have the fellow O Gen 2 birds. Again, these are brand new. Um, so it's quite interesting. So here we have, okay, and this is very interesting. It seems to be like a curved edge, whereas all the others seem to have like a tapered edge. Um, I'm, I wonder if that's why you might struggle to get espresso grind settings with the Ode burrs. That's quite interesting. Uh, anyway, all these cutting edges seem to be quite nice. They're um, they're very clean, very straight. Surface does look a little bit rough, so I wonder whether it might hold on to coffee like the uh, Fiorenzato burrs seem to do. Yeah, but they look they look pretty clean. Uh, edges all look pretty clean, um, very straight, quite uniform. Okay, let's move on. So this next burr set is a another stainless steel burr set that we've been sent uh, to test. Um, Sorry, let's get rid of that. Uh, sent to test, and this is from the, I believe it's the same manufacturer as the DF64V DLC burrs. So let's take a closer look here. Okay, first up, that edge looks very sharp. I don't know how there's any traces of coffee in these because I have not used them at all. 
Um, so that outer edge looks very crisp. Okay, let's take a look at some of these. Yeah, the edges all look pretty decent. Uh, I did notice an imperfection on one of the inner edges when I was going through the outage, so see if I can find it again. No, they look... Here we go, I think this was it. Yeah. Ah, oh, nothing too major. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how these perform in the um, the 11 burr test. So, yeah, of course, if you want to see the results of that 11 burr test, the best way to do so is to make sure that you've subscribed to the channel and you don't miss out when we do post it. Um, now, that is going to be taking place in the next month or two. There's just a lot that needs to be organised logistically. So finding a venue where we can set up 11 grinders, having the right uh, people there to be able to brew coffee and having volunteers there to taste coffee. So uh, it's going to take a bit of coordinating. Um, now, next up, we've got the SSP Red Speed uh, Espresso Burrs. Again, these are brand new burrs, never been used. Never been used. Um, so let's take a quick look at these. Okay, so straight up, that edge is a lot more tapered than what you see, what we saw with the, the you know, that DLC and all the other birds to date. So that's quite interesting. So let's look at that first DLC burr set. Um, let me see if I can adjust the, the zoom on it. There we go. It's on the focus, not zoom. I keep saying zoom. It's focus. Yes, yeah, so that's the DLC. Now I'll take a look at the SSP. It's a huge tapered section uh, in comparison to that DLC burn. Uh, surface looks Yeah, let's take a quick compare it. I still think the DLCs look like they have a smoother surface. It looks to be a bit of roughness to them. So it'd be interesting to see if these retain any coffee. So the one thing that's very noticeable is this. Like that's a huge uh, opening when you compare it to the DLCs, it's a lot more narrow on these. So I wonder if that narrow gap produces more fines. Uh, maybe, don't know. We'll see how they perform in the test. Anyway, back to the SSPs. Yes, that's quite interesting. Uh, I was just about to say that all the edges seem to be nice and clean and straight and then sure enough commentators curse we have I might turn the brightness down on this there we go that makes it a bit better to see so that this straight line then all of a sudden that kicks in let's see if that's normal no so there we go it looks like they're meant to be straight. And, oh, there's another one. So there you go, even your SSP burrs have some level of imperfections to them. And you'd expect it, you can't expect all these burrs to be 100% perfect. Um, you know, let's put it to perspective, we are zooming in at 800 times, so, um, you know, I wasn't expecting to find absolutely perfect burrs, yeah. Uh, it's just interesting to see how they're designed, and we'll see what the results show on the day that we test them. Um, next up, 
we have the SSP multi-purpose red speed burrs. So, here we go. So it looks like this is a thing with SSP. So they seem to have quite a tapered edge. But interesting, the multi-purpose don't have that same deep crevice that you had on the um, espresso burrs. So that's quite interesting. Okay. All the edges seem nice and sharp and crisp. Can't see too many. Again, it's like almost like commentator, commentator's curse. Here we go. We've got that edge there. There seems to be a little bit inconsistency there. Um, It does look, the surface does look a lot rougher than the, um, that first DLC burr set. That first DLC burr set I think look, is the smoothest one of the lot. Um, looks to be the smoothest. Does that make a difference when it comes to flavour? Who knows? We'll find out when we test them. Yeah, so it looked pretty consistent. The um, the multi-purpose and you know you'd expect them to be given the price that you're paying for SSP burrs you would want them to be of a better quality than most other burr sets that are out there and the last burr set we'll take a look under the microscope is the SSP cast um, so Okay, so the tapered edge on this is not as pronounced as uh, the other two SSP burrs. Edges look pretty clean. Interesting that section there compared when you compare it to the SSP um, espresso burrs. And here you can see the cast itself. So obviously this surface is going to be a lot rougher than... Um, than any of the others um, and I guess that's what happens when you have cast burrs um, yeah edges look pretty clean fairly consistent not too many imperfections So it's interesting, I'm guessing it's because of these are cast. If you look at all these edges, they actually, they're quite rough. Um, now I've actually run some cast burrs, 64 mil cast burrs in a main blend grinder uh, in a cafe. And um, the one thing I noticed was they, and I wonder if it's just a, a you know, volume going through and the heat that gets generated. Um, shot times would vary significantly. Um, so, and I'm, I'm guessing the fact that they don't have any coating, um, they're more susceptible to you know, expansion and contraction um, as the first heat up and cool down. Um, yeah, interesting. Pretty clean, but they're, they're, they're very consistent. There's nothing, you don't see the level of imperfections that we saw with the, the Firenzato. Uh, look, I'll just throw it randomly at any spot on the Firenzato, there you go. That edge is just, it looks terrible. <laughs> um, you know, even some of these cutting edges, they don't look the best. And it's not as though this is a, this is a burst set that's, that's, you know, gone through 100 kilos of coffee or even 50 kilos of coffee. This is maybe, not even, I don't think it's even done half a kilo of coffee. Go through it. 
So anyway, so that's it. Just a quick quick video um, taking a closer look at 64 mil burrs. Um, the test video will be. A, we'll see what results we get from the test video and see if you know the the nicer finished burrs perform better than you know the not so nicely finished burrs. And that video is going to be really you know, the people that we're looking to to have in that video are not necessarily experts in coffee. They are. Um, it might be just coffee enthusiasts, you know, average joes. Um, so if you're in the Sydney area and you'd like to participate in that, just drop a message below, um, and you know we can let you know when it's running. And if you want to participate and you're free, um, by all means, you're welcome to come on down. Um, and if you want to make sure that you don't miss that video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you've got any comments, drop them below. We'd love to respond to those. And hope you enjoyed today's, uh, today's video. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and take care.